Okay, so we're back um, using the skin modifier, all right? But this time we're gonna create, uh, let's say, like, like organic kind of characters, you know? All right, so same as before, we're gonna keep the cube, go to edit mode, uh, but let me turn on screencast first. All right, we're gonna go to a select that, go to edit mode, and then uh, press M or hit tab to go to, I mean, to edit mode, press M, Merge it center, so we're back to this one. But this time we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the uh, mirror modifier because we're kind of modeling kind of symmetrical character. Okay, so but before we get started with that, uh, let's add the mirror modifier and the skin modifier. Okay, so uh, if I go press E right now and move that up. All right, so when I press E, I right click to cancel the movement so I can kind of go with this. All right, so um, I'm going to be using, let's say, uh, the control A along the way. So I'm going to go like so, press E again to extrude, right click to cancel. I'm going to move it here. So that kind of guarantees that I kind of get a, uh, and control A to kind of expand that a bit, okay? And then let's do another E, okay? So I'm gonna right click to cancel it so I can just move it here. And then I'm going to control A to kind of scale. So that's what's happening here, okay? So if we go to the side right here, I can uh, move the, the points right there to kind of give it a, uh, you know, kind of more of a, like a spine kind of shape so it's not too stiff uh, if we're using this as a character. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the x-ray mode as well. All right, so right here, uh, I'm going to select that. Okay, I'm going to press E to kind of get that kind of shape right there. All right, and then um, I'm going to do another E so we get uh, whatever creature it is uh, that we're kind of building. Make those things go forward a bit, okay? And then you can go like so for the foot, maybe. Okay. All right. There it is. Okay. And I can expand. So let's say this one right here, I'm going to do Control A. Kind of make that a little bit uh, bigger. Control A on the this part as well. Okay. Um, Maybe expand the two. All right. And on this one, um, maybe we can just do uh, an X right here. So I'm going to press N. Then go to item here. And then we can go radius X. Oops, that would be a Y. All right. And uh, maybe a little bit of Y right there also. All right. So. Let's say that's that right there. And then for this one here, I'm on the side. Uh, we're going to do uh, another E. But we're going to shrink that a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to go E, extrude it, kind of go like so. Keep in mind, um, we are um, just kind of blocking out whatever, you know, no, for, no reference. Uh, organic creature here so I'm just gonna expand that a bit so let's say pretend that's the head right there and we can also do uh, just X only okay and we can go here for the shoulder we can go kind of add those like so okay and then uh, press E again and get some elbow I don't know if that's the correct position for it, but uh, I just kind of move that back a little bit. Let me turn off X-ray here, set it up. Okay, so we'll go with that. Expand that a little bit, and then it gets kind of tricky with hands and whatnot because you need to make sure that uh, we do have the uh, uh, the correct kind of proportion. It gets kind of jumpy. So I'm going to go to the side here and uh, let's say right here I'm going to create like the thumb area right there. So it's kind of shrink that a little bit. OK. 
Okay, and then uh, press E again, maybe. All right, let's go with that for now. And uh, we can move it a little bit there. Okay, and then uh, on this part right then we can uh, right here we can just start kind of modeling the uh, other parts and it gets kind of tricky on this one because uh, you need to shrink this by a whole lot in order for them to kind of fit in there so I'm just kind of go Let's just go with Homer Simpson here. Uh, in the future, uh, there'll be four fingers. I mean, five fingers, but for now, it's we're ending it right there. Okay. All right, so here we just go kind of. And I'm just kind of eyeballing their position. All right, and of course, uh, plenty of stuff to do regarding curling those a little bit so they're a little bit relaxed. Okay. All right. That thumb is massive, though. All right, let's uh, let's fix that real quick. Let's control A. It's kind of they're not too overly grotesque. Okay, so for kind of like creature or whatever, that's probably what we've got right there. And I'll just maybe uh, uh, move the uh, neck here a little bit going back, shoulder going back a bit, body going like so. Oops, who's that? Oh, yeah, we're leaving that alone. Make root. All right, so that's super quick right there. And uh, let's see if we add a subdivision surface. Okay, so really quickly, we kind of got something going on. It's not perfect, but uh, you can tell right here that uh, we can definitely spend a little bit more time. Uh, doing uh, you know correcting proportions and whatnot that uh, we can definitely use this as a as a base mesh for sculpting you know or just for blocking out a character real quick whoa all right and of course where they had uh, kind of just positioning it there you go. Okay, you probably have to shrink that a lot. Okay. Um, we might have to add another one. So the head can be controlled right here. All right. And maybe not too much on the X on that one. All right, and that's just kind of like the skin modifier in a nutshell, uh, creating, you know, characters and whatnot real quick that you can use as a base mesh and then uh, uh, create a creature.